Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the What's New webinar uh, from JFrog. My name is Mark Galpin. I'm a, a solution architect with JFrog, um, which means that I work closely with our customers and our partners um, on uh, technical problems and developing out uh, approaches to solving them. And um, this is the What's New webinar series. It's uh, a new series of webinars we started um, last month. It happens on the first Thursday of every month. And um, the idea is that we're going to quickly go through um, you know, whatever's happened in the last month at JFrog and um, you know, give you some, some demos maybe of some new features that maybe you're aware of, maybe you're not just kind of fill you in and they're usually not going to be an hour. Um, you know, we'll just, you know, go over what, what happened and let you guys go on with your day. Uh, but it's a great way to check in with our team and find out what could be cool. Um, maybe something new that you've been waiting for is coming in and, or maybe something you didn't know you were waiting for, but you want is available and let you know about that. Um, so the last one was on October 6th. It's been about five weeks. There were, um, you know, a lot of our R&D team took a lot of vacation time and holidays in October. So, um, you know, you might think that there wouldn't be a lot to talk about. Honestly, actually, when we first started this, that was actually one of my objections is I was figuring I knew a lot of R&D, had a lot of time off in October, and I, I figured, yeah, what can we possibly have to talk about? Um, after you know at the beginning of november that we didn't cover with what was a real banner month uh from september and so i don't have as much to talk about as i did last month but there are some very exciting things um coming up so what do we do so since that time uh we've gotten up from artifactory 413.0 to 414.1 mission control 152 was released um, we had a minor update of the CLI to 151. Uh, we issued a cool new user plugin. And we uh, did some new things with JFrog Bintray. So we'll go over um, some of these things, let you know what we had. Artifactory. So um, there was a 4.13.1 release that did the ability to order repositories by type. The tree browser basically made the sorting better. Uh, one of the big things here is to make sure that cache repos show up next to their remote by default. And um, a major complaint uh, we get a lot when we're working with customers um, that like to use the UI to browse the logs is that there wasn't a good way to pause those logs. Uh, we, we put that in. Minor stuff, but you know, very useful uh, user experience things. But let's move on to the big meat, 414. Uh, people have been asking for it for a very long time, um, and we have released PHP Composer support in Artifactory. Um, and um, that's just absolutely um, very exciting whenever we introduce a new package type. And uh, I know that a lot of our customers were really looking forward to this and have been waiting for this for a while. Um, and so I'm very, very excited to uh, be able to show you this. And then uh, we did have a 4.14.1, which was uh, just some minor fixes, um, particularly to yum indexing and distribution repositories, um, which, um, you know, if you're going to upgrade, you might as well go all the way to 4.14.1. So um, let's just take a quick look at this, shall we? Um, so, first of all, system logs, there's your pause button. And now you can see that it's no longer doing the countdown. So, when I want to browse the logs, et cetera, I no longer have to worry about it resetting it every time it happens. Nice little feature. Not a lot to talk about, but cool nonetheless. Uh, PHP repositories. So I can create local PHP repositories. Uh, 
I can create remote Composer repositories. It will automatically pre-configure to work with Packagist. Uh, like several of other types, um, you know, we're getting stuff from GitHub through a registry. And um, PHP does not have a virtual repository support at this, uh, support at this time. Um, that uh, may come in the future as, as, uh, as people work more with the local and remotes. Um, you know, as a standard, we usually introduce the local and remote first uh, for everybody to use. Um, so doubtless, you don't just want to see um, the ability to stand them up. Let's actually go out and use one. So if um, we do a set me up here, we can go to package type PHP. And it's going to tell me how to do a repositories entry in my .composer slash config.json. If I'm not using HTTPS, I also need to put this config in. And I can also, I also need an auth.json. Uh, to install any credentials. So over here, um, we'll just do a cat tilde slash dot composer slash uh, config dot json. And you can see that I have hooked up for our local artifactory repository type composer. This is its URL um, and its config. And then I can, you know, with that config.json, I can do everything I would normally do. I can do interactive dependencies. We'll just grab random package here. So we're just gonna go over to this sort of factory, which is my office sort of factory. And you can see that I pre-configured a package repo. But if we go out to its cache, its cache is empty. So we'll just take this package, so grab the latest one. Yes, and then we'll go back to the set me up. And it tells me to type composer install dash dash for dist. And we will do that. It is installing the packages that I need. And if I go back to Artifactory here and refresh my cache, you can see there's the packages that we installed. Um, so we pulled it through uh, the Artifactory remote and now these will be cached for the future. Uh, pretty basic stuff, but again, uh, we've been, you know, lots of people want this Composer support, you know, getting this nice caching for Composer, we're really excited about it. Hopefully, um, if you use Composer, you're very excited as well. And, um, we will move on. So uh, there has not been an X-ray update in the last five weeks. Um, X-ray tends to be released, you know, roughly every six weeks. <laughs> um, so, um, but uh, the X-ray product manager really did want me to let you guys know that we have really exciting stuff coming next week. Uh, we will, of course, demo it next month. Um, uh, we're going to have uh, reporting organizationally what open source licenses are you using, um, some self-monitoring, uh, improved performance, and also uh, something a lot of people have been asking, uh, X-Ray has email alerts today, uh, but we had no way to have a severity filter in those email alerts. Um, 
For those of you who aren't familiar with JFrog X-Ray, JFrog X-Ray is our newest product. It was released um, at the end of last quarter. And it designs um, for giving you deep insight into binaries. And um, it has various um, built-in features around security and licensing, but it also allows you to attach any sort of metadata where you want to trace impact of one binary to another. And um, we have um, webinars on X-Ray on a fairly regular basis. I believe the next one is scheduled for the end of November. Uh, or um, you can always reach out. If you think this sounds interesting, you can always reach out to your account manager and they'd be happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one demo of the product for you. Um, so JFrog Mission Control 152 came out. A uh, couple of big things here. Um, first of all, as uh, you may be aware, Mission Control um, has a lot of things that uh, it allows you to create repositories, uh, but it also um, you know, confirms that you have a valid configuration. So um, we did have to update mission control to support various new features to Artifactory like X-ray indexing settings and uh, PHP composer repositories. Uh, we also did some enhancements to disaster recovery. Um, explicitly, user plugins are now replicated uh, as part of the DR process. Um, so. so um, this is the um, the DR um, tool, these are not two instances that are very in sync. Um, but you can see here I have the options of configuring DR um, between any two instances configured in mission control. And I can um, then once I've done that, it will show me uh, data on how in sync they are. So you can see these are you know, relatively little overlap between them because I just picked them at random. And then you can do a uh, init and then it will go out and um, replicate out various um, replications and configurations. And then it will give you feedback on what happened as it starts moving uh, various things around. Um, and the big thing, like I said, that we added is uh, the ability to um, the ability to move user plugins from one artifactory to another. Uh, right now, uh, one of these artifactories um, has a number of issues, so uh, this DR won't actually run, which is actually pretty good given that I'm trying to demo the init process, which is why we've left it like this. Um, so that's mission control. Uh, not major updates, but very important. If you're using mission control, please do upgrade. Um, especially if you're upgrading your version of Artifactory, you do need to upgrade your version of Mission Control at the same time. Um, so if you want to learn more about JFrog Mission Control and how to manage global architectures with JFrog Mission Control, um, we have webinars about this um, every month um, as part of our Tuesdays with JFrog webinar series. And the next one is November 29th at uh, 10.30 uh, Pacific. It will actually be Pacific Standard Time, not Pacific Daylight Time, um, because the time is changing on Sunday. But um, So the JFrog CLI also got updated. This was a very, very minor update. Uh, came from the community. Um, 
to uh, support API keys from certain older versions of Artifactory. Um, we don't have a CLI webinar planned in the next month, but we did just have one last week, and you can catch the recording on YouTube. Uh, so Artifactory user plugins. So, um, you know, just kind of keeping you guys what's going on in the community. Uh, we'll also be talking about, you know, ecosystem community stuff. Um, so in this case, uh, we created a plugin we call Palmer. Uh, very simple little plugin, but very useful. Um, so all user plugins are under Apache v2. And um, please, if you have a user plugin you think is cool, please uh, consider um, contributing it back to the Artifactory user plugins uh, repository. If you do that, you know, we'll do some testing and maintenance to keep it up to date as new versions of Artifactory come out. Um, in thanks for you sharing it with the community. Um, this one here, the Palmer plugin, is um, all it does is uh, auto generate Palm files for artifacts in Maven repositories that don't already have them. Uh, but the cool thing about this is that it's going to make um, metadata searches much faster uh, in your Maven repository. So um, this is a very, you know, useful repository if you have this use case, useful little plugin if you have this use case. Uh, and generally speaking, um, you know, there's lots of interesting stuff in Artifactory user plugins for, um, you know, more edge case type use cases. Uh, and so always feel free to, um, to check them out. Many of them require minor modifications to the code, but all of them, you know, should work um, out of the box. And um, we're pretty excited by them. So finally, uh, JFrog bin tray. So uh, two new features um, in bin tray. Um, Invite by email, so you can now uh, send an email to users to join your Bintray organization. It will create a scoped user um, that's uh, just a part of your user rather than an overall uh, Bintray, um, you know, a generic Bintray user. And also, we had a lot of customers request um, that you be able to mirror private repositories. Uh, we don't do it for public repositories, so that um, you know you you have some control over over how people do things and you know you don't rack up data transfer charges but for private repositories um, they can now be spidered so that they can easily be mirrored if that's something you want your customers to be able to do so to use the invite by email feature just sign into Bintray sign into Bintray Um, switch to the team you want to switch to. Edit. Go to members. And do an invite by email. And then you can do, um, for example, um, Send it out to my friend Stanley. Um, but since he already exists in this organization, it lets me know that I can't do it. So we send it out to my friend Lorena. She gets an email that she'll then be able to use um, to join in on Bintray and uh, start being a member of this organization as a scoped user rather than a general Bintray user. So it'll dump her straight into this location whenever she logs in. And um, next week on Thursday, we'll be talking more about, you know, if you're not familiar with Bintray, we'll be talking more about um, how to use Bintray 
for distribution of Docker images and other things um, for products. I strongly encourage you to check it out. I expect to have a lot of fun giving that webinar. And um, we should be able to have a lot of fun. Um, so that pretty much wraps us up for um, this month. As I said, um, you know, we had some exciting stuff, but, you know, um, and I wanted to get you out of here as quickly as possible with hopefully having seen the demos you want. Uh, I am now taking questions, but if you want to learn more on topics in general, please go out to jfrog.com slash webinars and see what we have um, available. Uh, generally speaking, on Tuesdays, we have uh, basically a training series on Artifactory that covers, um, you know, from a base introduction to Artifactory up to managing Artifactory at scale and global architectures with Artifactory. And on Thursdays, uh, we're tending to do more advanced topics um, that we think are of interest to, um, to experienced users or talk about some of our other products, that sort of thing. Um, and if you want to ask questions, please enter them in the Q&A panel. Uh, so, excellent question. Where do we go to get previous sessions recordings? Uh, there is a JFrog channel on YouTube, and generally speaking, if you just search um, uh, on YouTube for JFrog and what's new, you should get a list, so we should be able to go out here. Um, right, go out to YouTube.com and do JFrog, what's new. And you can see um, the various ones, the one from two months ago, the one from um, the beginning of this month, and shortly uh, this one will show up as a third one. Are there any other questions about any of the features I showed you um, or generally about um, the various products that we can answer? Okay then, um, as promised, I'm gonna let you all go. Thank you very much for attending this webinar. Um, please come back for our future webinars. Uh, and um, see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.